In this problem, the diagram is very prominent. It gives us all of the information that we know about uh, the function with the exception of the fact that f of 8 equals 4. So it's important to reflect on the fact that what's being graphed here is f prime, not f. And therefore, questions about f are questions about the signed area of this function. Questions about f prime are questions about the height. And questions regarding f double prime are questions about the slope. We're going to need to be finding local minima, absolute minima, regions where something is concave down. And then at the end, we need to find the slope of a tangent line for a new function based on this. So I've added some information that's going to be useful in these calculations. Information that reminds us about local min and max and concave down. So why don't we just jump into A, where it asks us to find all of the local minima in the open interval from 0 to 8. Now it's key that we recognize that it's an open interval. And that means there is no need to consider the end points because this interval does not include end points. Uh, cannot occur at end points. because they are not included in the interval. So that takes care of that. So where else do we find local minima? Well, we find local minima where f prime changes sign from negative to positive. But in this particular graph, f prime itself is the function being graphed. And so it's really just where the height of this function changes from negative to positive. And that occurs at x equals 6. So we focus on where f prime changes from negative to positive as x uh, goes from left to right. Which occurs at x equals 6. That's it. B, now we have to find the absolute minimum value of f. Here we can include the endpoints, and so we'll have to check them because the interval they've given us is now closed. So let's just write that out. So the absolute min over 0 to 8, including the endpoints. So we test um, x equals, we want to compare x with f of x. So the three places we need to check are 0. 6, and 8. Let's start with 8. 8, the height is given. Now, to find 6, we'll have to work backwards 
using signed area. And when we go backwards in this direction, okay, this uh, signed area counts negatively, or the signed area counts negatively as we go from 8 to 6. And so what we have for 6 is 4 minus 7 equals negative 3. Now for 0, we'll have to continue on. This area, which if we were going left to right would be negative signed area, is positive signed area if we're going from right to left. And so we're going to have 4 minus 7 plus 3 minus 6 minus 2. And that gives us negative 3 plus 3 is 0 minus 6 minus 2. That's negative 8. And so our absolute minimum is negative 8, and it occurs at x equals 0. So let's just finish that up. min is negative 8. And I note that we don't say where it occurs in part because the absolute minimum could occur at multiple places. But what, when they ask for absolute minimum, they're focusing on the function's value, not the position in x where it occurs. Part C asks for, over the open interval, intervals where f is concave down and increasing. Okay, So again, we have this from over here, f concave down. is the same as f double prime being less than 0. Well, as we said, f double prime is the slope of the f prime curve, and that is negative from 0 to 1 and 3 to 5. Okay. So we can just write that in x 0 to 1 and also x 3 to 5. But they also ask for the additional constraint that f is increasing. f increasing is the same as f prime greater than 0. f prime greater than 0 is just a matter on this graph of reading off where this graph, which again is not the f graph, where it is above the x-axis. And that's uh, 0 to 1 and, or I'm sorry, is uh, 0 to 4 and 6 to 7. And so the intersection of these two intervals is 0 to 1 and 3 to 4. And that's our answer. last part of the question has to do with a new function defined in terms of the f function. So we have g of x equals f of x cubed. And what we want is the slope, not the equation of the tangent line, but just the slope of the tangent line to the graph of g at x equals 3. So what we need is g prime of 3. Well, we can use the chain rule to find g prime. It's 3 times f of x squared times f prime of x. 
and then both of these, this entire expression needs to be evaluated at x equals 3. So, that's not so hard. Uh, f prime of x at 3 is, uh, we can read it direct, directly from the graph, it's 4. f of x is given, meaning f of 3 is given as negative 5 halves, and so we'll just have to square that. And then finally multiply the entire result by 3. So g prime of 3 equals that. We get This is 25 over 4 times 4 is really just 25 times 3, so that's 75 is the slope. of the tangent line.